This is Koh Tao. It's an island. We've only just arrived here, so we still have much to explore and learn. But one thing we do know is that it's one of the best places in the world to go scuba diving. No one knows exactly how many dive shops there are here, but all you really need to know is that it's a literal fuck ton. This is the one we went with. More on them later, though. Well, it's official. Today marks the beginning of our PADI certification journey, which is a bit of a bigger deal for me than it might be for a lot of people. I am feeling trepidatious, slightly anxious. The week before my 18th birthday, I went tubing with a bunch of friends on a river near home. I was on a raft that got popped by a tree and since there had recently been a heavy rain, um, the river was a lot higher than normal. And I was floating down the river and was sucked underneath a tree that had fallen down on the river and there was almost no getting out. I saw the water like going over my glasses and I was starting to see a lot of really bright lights. Out of nowhere, something inside me just said, you need to get out of here, you're gonna die and I had this sudden burst of energy and I pulled myself up out from under the tree and just kind of laid half unconscious as I floated down the river and luckily my friends had pulled over on a bank and they pulled me out and everything was hunky-dory. But ever since then, I've had this extreme aversion to just having my ears under the water. It's like my body has this automatic response to just, you can't do this, this is dangerous. Kind of like when you go to eat a food right after you had food poisoning or something like that. So I've been really working, especially in the past couple weeks, to get over that. I'm just trying to stay very positive. I think we're in good hands. I don't have quite the same past trauma to overcome. Mostly I'm just excited. Um, I don't know if there is any fear, I won't know until we're there. I just, I really want to see some cool fish. I'm hopeful that we'll see whale sharks, even though I'm not expecting it. We're doing this course with uh, another girl from Brazil, who's also not exactly comfortable in the water, I think. So the only thing I am nervous about is getting addicted to diving and spending the rest of our money on dives here. I'm just kidding mostly. There is a reason that people get addicted to it and I've already had one guy warn me so I think it's inevitable we're going to be scuba enthusiasts after this. The first step of this adventure was to meet with the crew at Ocean Sound so they could debrief us on our mission for the next few days and give us some homework which consisted of an hour-long training video and two multiple choice quizzes. I'm definitely not tired. I get up this early. All the time. It is day two, aka day, first day of actually doing things. Today we're going basically right to the pool, starting at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think we're in the pool for about four hours and then we do some more classroom stuff, so. Evan, what's your scaredometer sitting at? I ain't never scared. There you go. There's almost some sort of adrenaline that starts to kick in the minute you start doing a course like this. It happened the same way when we went with one of our friends and my brother to do our outdoor climbing course. Scary th when I was just thinking about it, but then once you put those wheels in motion, it starts to get easier and you're like, well, I can't stop the bus now. You just let, you kind of let it run its course and just trust in the process. Just made myself some, uh instant Gatorade. This stuff's like five bot at 7-Eleven and it saves your life. I'm Scooper Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Then the beautiful thing is the dive shop is like two seconds up the road and it's right across from where we're gonna get breakfast. Awesome, I need a coffee. Yeah, let's go get a coffee. So we can poop in the pool. Now for a quick rundown of our scuba gear. These are goggles. They allow for underwater sight and stop you from inhaling water through your nose. Flippers. These are basically running shoes for underwater. We got our weight belts out here holding it down. These are to offset the buoyancy of the air tank. Our regulators. Those are for breathing. Pretty self-explanatory. Lastly, this fancy life jacket here uses compressed air to inflate and deflate, allowing us to become neutrally buoyant. The pool session really helped us to feel more comfortable with all the gear and to just be underwater in general. We went through safety and emergency procedures like how to clear water from your goggles if they get flooded, how to retrieve your regulator if it comes out of your mouth, and how to share air with your buddy if you run out. Today is the day that we are officially going in the ocean. And I'd be lying if I said that last night I didn't start to feel a little bit of anxiety starting to like lift through me. I just started thinking about the fact that the regulator is the only thing that can keep me alive down there. And when you're thinking stupidly, as a lot of us do, it's hard to reason with yourself and your brain just starts to go do 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 do, running away with the idea. I also started to think about, shit, how deep down are we going tomorrow? And on the board it says a maximum of 12 meters. That is about 40 feet. And I started to feel smothered by the fact that there will be roughly 40 feet between me and air above all of that water. There will be 40 feet of water between me and oxygen that is not coming out of this thing that's just staying in my mouth by my teeth biting down on it. But I'm trying to not let my mind go there this morning. I'm trusting in the process that our instructor will be there the whole time. We're doing two dives today and this the first one is like kind of a tester so it's testing me that's for sure I'm I am scared I'm scared for today but I know how beautiful and amazing it is to be able to do this so I'm gonna try and focus on that today I still don't have any major fears about diving. I'm still more or less excited. I, I put a lot of trust in our instructor that we'll be safe and I hope I'm not too overconfident because I know that you still need to be very careful down there and not take for granted your safety. When we were training in the pool yesterday, um, I think I swallowed some air through my nose or something. I don't know if that makes sense. Somehow I swallowed some air and I was just really uncomfortable underwater and I was like, do I need to come up? But I like, didn't want to be that guy who has to surface. And then I just let out the biggest burp underwater and it was totally normal. There's, you can do a lot of things underwater that you would do above water and they're the exact same. You're thinking to yourself, how do I swallow all this spit in my mouth that's built up around the regulator? Like same way you would if you were on the surface, you just swallow it. Or you can spit it through the regulator. I'm excited, we're a good group. I think we'll learn quick and have more time to just be under the water and see things. So I'm excited to get going and I'm hungry. Walking onto the dive boat, the collective stoke of everyone on board was palpable. They had free coffee and cookies, and even a boat cat. As we cruised along the sea of ice blue Kool-Aid, objectively the best flavor, we were closing in on our first dive site, Owluk Bay. 
Sadly, because this is a training course, we were not allowed to film our first open water dive, but we were promised we would have an opportunity the following day. To be frank, the first day left me feeling entirely unsure of whether diving would actually be my thing. I had issues equalizing my ear pressure on the way down on both dives, and that gave me aching ears overnight. And then I also almost had a spell of vertigo under the water, so that doesn't exactly spell fun. I don't say any of this to sound like I'm complaining. I was actually sad. Despite my initial apprehension, I'd caught a glimpse of what this experience could be for me, and I wasn't ready for that to be taken away. So, I boarded the boat the following day, determined. Determined to enjoy myself, damn it. And enjoy myself, I did. Surprisingly, the depths were of no concern to me. Instead, I was in awe of this alien-like world that I was momentarily a part of. I'm not supposed to be there. None of us are supposed to be down there. And yet, here we are. Defying the laws of the universe. Mere travelers simply passing through an entirely foreign ecosystem. If you know me, you know I always have something to say. So you can believe me when I say I was truly left speechless by this entire experience. It was likely one of the greatest fears I had, so it was no small feat for me to confront it. I know what I'm about to say is pretty much the biggest cliche ever, but we truly are capable of so much more than we ever give ourselves credit for. Being brave isn't the absence of fear. It's being afraid and doing it anyway. <laughs>